Yeah. Hello, my faithful moonbeams. And I hope you were able to see the uh, super um, uh, the eclipse last night. I'm assuming I looked um something like uh, this thing here from yeah something like that. I'm assuming it looks something like that I don't know but uh, if you were able to see it let me know As you can see in the background behind me, we were not able to see it due to cloud coverage. <sighs> so, I woke up at 3 a.m. this morning, saw the clouds, and decided to go back to sleep because I knew I wasn't going to see the moon, and I was like, yep, good night. So, no eclipse for me. So, hope you enjoyed the big event, because uh, I won't be coming along for another over 100 years. That way, the movie is Vampire Hunter D. It is about a young girl who hires a vampire hunter because she's been bit by the Count Magnus Lee and so Dee is hired to hunt down the vampire hunt, hunt down the vampire and the girl's name is Doris and uh, so Anyways, uh, when Doris hires D, um, they form a little bit of a bond, and the moon is called the Sanguine Moon in the movie. And, uh, All the villagers are afraid of Doris, but uh, Dr. Fearing is all like, well, don't send her to the asylum, otherwise the Count will come after her, and uh, all the villagers will die, and do you want that on your hands? And Doris is like, what happened to the girl? And he's like, oh, she went mad. Anyways... I rate Vampire Hunter D an M for Moonbeam 87 approved, also M for mature audiences. So, so only for adult. This is not your children's anime. This is for um, anime lovers who... It was on Cartoon Network once in 1994 and um, there was a, um, a, a nipple shot in uh, the scene they didn't really cover it. It was shot with, it was released with three, with two other films. First was Robot Carn Carnival, then they played Vampire Hunter D, and then they played Twilight of the Cockroaches. And I read Vampire Hunter D and M for Moonbeam A7 approved and an M for 
mature audiences. As you can see, do this little thing here. That is for mature audiences. When they released it, they put a little thing thing that is for mature audiences. So, if you want to watch Vampire Hunter D, go ahead, watch it. But, uh, don't let your kids see it. But I approve of it very much. However, if your children are in their late teens, by all means. If you want them to see it, then let them see it. It's for older teens and adults. I... I'd rate this for older teens and adults. Of course, I was watching stuff like this when I was 13. My parents allowed me to. If you're not, if you're, if you're a sensitive parent, then you might want to wait for your child to watch it until their later teens, like. 17, 18, 19, uh, if you're at max, 18, that's when they're adults, can make their own decisions, which are audiences. So I'm, I am putting the mature audiences on there. And the box is even says for mature audiences, so so M for the fact that I have proof of it and for the fact that it is for mature audiences. So have fun with watching Vampire Hunter D and I'm off to Tuck Window. And, uh, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, uh, sh like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm... I'm doing this video because Vampire Hunter D has a celestial event just like we did. And I'm giving Ghibli a little break. As I said, they had the Sanguine Moon. Vampires view the, sang view the Sanguine Moon for women's blood is impure on that night. And, uh... Have fun watching Vampire Hunter D, and if you're a mature audience, if you want your kids in their later teens, watch it. It is not for nine-year-olds, ten-year-olds. It's not for twelve. I would not rate it for twelve and below. If you want your child to 13 and above to watch it, fine. It, that your 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 parent, uh, if if you think your child's able to cope with it at the age of 13. I was watching heavy metal at the age of 13, so. And that one is uh, is a movie all, all of its own variety. So, so, and that's a movie for a different uh, video.
and I moved to Taekwondo.